Hello guys, in this video we are going to prove that if two circles intersect in two points then we have to prove that the line through the through their centers is the perpendicular bisector of the common chord. So what we have to do is I will first of all I will draw the figures then it will be it will become clearer after that. So one circle like I have one circle like this and another circle like this okay and they are intersecting at two points let one point be A and second point be B and there's the center of the first circle is O and the second circle is O dash so in, in this figure we have two circles intersecting in point A and B okay we have to prove the lines through this center so we, have, we will draw a line through the center connecting their centers like this okay line through the center is a perpendicular bisector of the common chord and what will be their common chord the common chord will be AB like this okay so we have to prove we have to prove that and uh, the line through there the is the perpendicular bisector of common chord AB we have to prove that let this point be M okay we have to prove that O O dash is perpendicular to AB okay this line is perpendicular to this line so first for doing this we have to do some construction I will we have to join OA okay OB A O dash and B O dash now we will take in triangle A O O dash and triangle O B O dash this triangle and this triangle okay now since this is our first circle this will be the radius of our this circle let let us call that radius small r this one and this is the center of our take bigger circle and let us call its radius b capital r okay this one so in, in triangle this triangle and this triangle okay o a is equal to o b equal to r because they are both the radius of the first circle and a o dash equal to o dash b this one is equal to this one and finally o o dash equal to o dash this is our common because this is our common side so side 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 so so by SSS congruency okay congruency triangle AO O dash is congruent to triangle OB O dash so since these two triangles are congruent so so now what we will see that we will take the this angle A O M and BOM okay angle AOM will be equal to angle BOM why because by CPCT by corresponding parts of congruent triangles okay now we have to take this these two small triangles this triangle and this triangle so in triangle OAM and triangle OMB okay this triangle and this triangle AO is equal to OB again these are both the they are these are both the radius of the smaller circle which is small r okay and om equal to m om is equal to om this is our common side and let us let us call this equation equation from equation number one from equation one angle am equal to angle bom so you can see okay this side was equal to this side this angle is equal to this angle and this side equal to this side it is a common side so s a s so by s a s congruency rule triangle o m is congruent to triangle o m b okay now these two triangles are congruent now again we will by c p c t we will get angle a m o equal to angle bmo okay this angle will will also be equal to this angle because of cpct but we know that the sum of these two angle is 180 because am plus angle bmo is 180 degree because 
this is a straight line okay the sum of all the angles in a straight line is 180 degree but angle amo plus in the place of bmo we can write angle amo amo equal to 180 it, it implies twice of angle amo equal to 180 or angle amo equal to 90 degrees so finally we reach we reach to the conclusion this angle is 90 degrees so this angle will also be equal to 90 degree and this angle and this angle all will be equal to 90 degree it means our this line the, the line joining the center of these two circle is 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 a perpendicular bisector of the common chord so we have proved this okay very easily by just taking first of all we took the bigger bigger triangles then with the help of that we we reach the conclusion that our angle AOM is equal to angle BOM and with the help of these two triangles we set them congruent to each other and finally we reach the conclusion that this angle is equal to this angle and their sum is 180 so since they are equal so one angle should be equal to 90 degree and finally we prove the prove that the, the line the line through the through the center of the circles is is the perpendicular bisector of the common chord okay so bye bye so this was it for today's video guys bye bye take you take care